Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy a a Town a Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with <laughs> TNT Dynamite Explosive with Jonas Pablo Man of the Sticks. So, Every when you when you get into the mountains, yeah, yeah. And whenever I get a bird point, it seems they play that that little. Ditty. Yeah, but it, it's really when you're high up in the mountains, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like at first I thought it was like really like no, stupid, and then I was like, dude, this is catchy, dude. And I was like, it, found it. myself last night laying in bed going. <laughs> Did you really find no, yourself just, laying in bed? No, I was being facetious, but might as well. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I don't know, dude. I kind of, I'm starting to like it. I hate it, but I like it because it's kind of, it, it just keeps happening, too. I, I like it because it's kind of bad. It reminds me of, like, 90s Lilith Fair. Like, uh, where have all the cowboys gone? <laughs> Who buys clover, I'm wondering. Ooh, scribed words. Ooh, you did it. Old, old gods, gods are, are dead. dead. Old gods have died too. That's that song and then I called you blue. Is that a real song? I don't know. That is not a real song. We gotta talk to uh Sigurd. We do have to talk to like Sigurd. The mountains i know dude because when you get out here you just want to explore so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go do this mystery and we're going to have a band we're going to have a band we had a lot of band last episode while we, we were doing did. hardcore story ish <laughs> it was like some hardcore fighting going on and we're talking about like how i cut myself and, and hurt slipping on the ice and stuff yeah it felt good <laughs> it was to good. cut myself because i knew i was alive <laughs> what I mean, excuse me. You know, listen, you're not a cutter, are you? No, nah, dude. No, nah, yeah. I got those scars. That, that's, yeah. I don't want you to do that. No. Nah. They say that, like, if you're not cutting to, to like, hurt yourself, to, like, die, that, like, it's not, like, as bad as some other things can be. No. It, it's, like, a coping mechanism. I don't really understand, like, how that helps because, like, I avoid pain like the plague. Yeah. Well, what I've heard... Like this is and this isn't like the euphemism like oh I have a friend no what I've heard is that it's like when you have so much pain inside of you like your emotional mental pain no. that the physical pain is like a release of no. like it's like a transition of like the pain is now like physical it's like a release of my body from that pain Yo, sort of deal I, I don't I don't completely understand either but that makes a little bit of sense to me but like I don't. That's not my thing, so I don't know. I didn't realize it was that deep. Mm hmm. I mean, I think anyone who's had any sort of like depressive episode knows like that mental and emotional pain can be super. It can feel like somebody's stabbing you in the chest. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Um, I've, I've had a hurt heart before. <laughs> right. Choice. And you're like, why am I not physically hurt, but I feel this much pain? This is weird, dude. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Princess, Princess Sparkle steps back <laughs> on a very emotional episode of Crazy Town. Let's Media. talk about depression. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, are you depressed out there? There's nothing wrong with that, even if you're a man. <laughs> All right, so this is one of like just like the oddities of the world. Oh, nice, dude! Like NPC my guy. Life. The fruit of my work, all gathered here, and now. I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here only to throw it all down. The horse did that? most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. Oh. My children will not bury it with me. Speaking of mental illness. It, but I know <laughs> I will sell it all once right. my life burns out. I'm going to carry all my stuff to a cliff and yourself. throw it off. Oh, sure. TNT, will you follow me out to the mountains and throw all my belongings off of it with me? Oh, uh, yeah, dude, sure. This guy wants me to help him throw his stuff works? off. How do you throw? All right, Trigger. There you go. Like, why would you grab his. Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he wants to get to the next world, but mm -hmm. doesn't want it to break. No, this is this is fine, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. He's not living in a, in a delusion of grandeur over anything. After I put an arrow under King Sigtude's left arm. That sounds He's like, when like you throw it, the, the portal shot. opens, and it gets sucked in, and then it goes to the afterlife. 
<laughs> this is how it works, Jonas. Don't question his religious decisions. I, dude, I mean, hey, you know. If this is what he believes, we have to honor it. He's a boxist. Yeah, like, if somebody asked me to help him do this, I'm like, all right, dude. I received from King Harold. There we go. I did it. They're all done. You did it, bro. May now the what? gods grant you luck for your efforts. Yeah. You better give us some money. All right. Pay I hope me. it is good luck. Thank you for your help. That kind of looks you like Moby. You have to do this. <laughs> kind and bit. courageous <laughs> people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. Oh. It is oh, he's got some face tats too. That. Everybody Even does. Even if the name Harek Gum is forgotten in Midgard. So. What will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave Oh my this god, world. is he about to kill himself? Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! What? Wow, what a, what a unknown perfect intro to this What's episode. Wow. You want to go see if we can find the body? Y'all want to see a dead body? <laughs> I kind of want to go see if I can find the body. This is dangerous. <laughs> wow, yeah, dude. dude. he just, he killed himself. It was, it happened. Yo, this is a long drop, too. He better be down there, dude. This is not an insignificant drop. Princess Sparkle Steps is going to be missing you, dude. Dude, she'll be fine. I'll be missing you at all. We're, we're going to go look for the body, and then we'll go get the secret. Away. <laughs> yeah, you got a fast drop point nearby. I'm not missing you. No matter time. You say, is that Tina Turner? Um. Or like uh, Patti LaBelle, I think I'm, is I'm who that is. Yeah, I don't know who it would be, but it sounds good. I think good. that's a Patti LaBelle. I think that's Patty Missing Label. Missing you at... Oh, hold on. Not a period. Missing you <laughs> at... Oh. I ain't yeah. missing you at... Tina Turner, it's maybe? John Waite? John... Tom Waite? I know who that hold is. Hold on a second. I got him on the wall over here. Tom Waite. Do you have Tom Waite on the wall? Seriously? Right there. What's Tom Waite? What do you know about Tom Waite? Not much. Have you listened to Tom Waite? It's interesting. <laughs> What do you mean it's interesting? I kind of F with Tom Waits, man. I'm not going to say like I'm going to a Tom Waits concert or something, but, I, you know, like you put some Tom Waits on, I'm going to be like, okay. Yeah, dude, that's Tom Waits. Uh, yeah, I've had that up there for like I didn't a year. Know. I didn't know it was Tom Waits. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I didn't know you. Why, I was like, why would you have a Tom Waits? Well, the reason I have it is because it matches the other two weird photos I have on the wall. Yeah. And I got buy two get one free at a horror convention. So you just were like, I'll oh, get this Tom Waits. Well, painting. I didn't know it was Tom Waits until the guy told me that. It is John Waite. John Waite? Missing you at all, yeah. All right. Co written by English musician John. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, well, see, this is back in the day where nobody wrote their stuff. I mean, Wait. which Missing is basically. Missing you is today. a song co written and recorded by John Waite. It was released in 84. Yeah. <laughs> on his album, No Breaks. <laughs> so, all gas, no breaks. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't sound like a black female when it he sings. He doesn't. No, dude. He's and not And when a black I think, female. when I hear it, I think of like. This is the song, though, dude. You, you can't make a white man <laughs> into a <laughs> black female. Was this freaking Huey Lewis in the news? No, wait, not them. The other ones. All right, so, yeah, I this couldn't is find it. This. Yeah. You can't play it over. <laughs> You can't play it. I mean, I hear it. It ain't going to be picked up by the no, mic. That's true. That's true. All right. I mean, that is the song, but like... <laughs> I ain't missing you. <laughs> that's lovely. He does sound like a female, though. Okay, so maybe... Can you stop, please, Tom maybe, Waits? Maybe that's why. I did listen to some song. Tom Waits, dude. He's like, some Bo He's like Bob Dylan. Yeah, he's Dylanish. He's got a little Dill in him. Yeah, like Can I not like that old here? school '60s like chill rock stuff is pretty. Oh my Jesus Lord! What? And she's okay. She's fine, folks. She's fine. She's fine. Lorandra's all right. I gotta get out of this water though. I'm starting to freeze. <laughs> but yeah, it's very like, dude. You really can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, you know, you're you're making it work. Who introduced you to weights? Uh 
I believe it was uh, young Zachariah. Oh, that does not seem like the person that would be interested in Tom Waits. Me and that guy used to listen to a lot of different types of stuff, man. We would listen to, we'd get in the car, we'd listen to metal. We would listen to, like, old school Motown stuff. We would listen to uh, Tom Waits. Mortis. Definitely Mortis tribes in the road. Um, but then, you know, like... He, I got him. I got him onto like uh, the Shy Lights and the Isley Brothers and stuff. I got him listening to a little. He bit does of that. like a vast variety of music. Yeah, and like uh, he was the one that introduced me to the Lynch Mob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would listen to stuff like that too. <laughs> buck the devil, buck the devil, buck the devil, move. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny because like. Uh, we would, yeah, man. Like it's it's kind of added to my my variety even to this day. I don't really listen to a lot of music anymore. I don't know, man. I just kind of like listen to like people talking more than anything else. Yeah, I went I very big into sports talk radio in my mid twenties, and then I got out of that after about like a five year stretch of that. But I, dude, I've I have been a big fan of talk radio my entire life. So, like, podcasts, like, if I find, like, a good, like, if I like your voice, if I like what you talk about, and I like, your, like, what you, like, dude, I'm I'm in. Yeah, have, who do, who do you listen to? Oh, you're not allowed to, we don't want to. No, I don't, I don't really listen, I mean, to be completely honest, I don't listen to a lot of anything right now. No. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. But I, I would like to find some new podcasts of, like. But I don't want I don't want a podcast or a radio show that talks about one thing. I like the variety of like whatever comes up. I like kind of like what we do is like we'll talk about a news story and then like wherever the conversation goes and then you come back and you start with another starting point. Maybe you talk about a news story and then wherever the conversation goes and then you come you know rather than be like we're about history, we're about sports, we're about X. I don't like to be that cornered that that truncated into one topic yeah dude i'm not into any one topic that much fair enough i like oddities <clears throat> i like weird stuff i like unusual things or you know just like um i big. listen to one that talks about like uh like monsters or like you know like like chupacabra and sasquatch or they oh, talk okay. about like alien occurrences uh they did an episode on like uh what is it, the Skinwalker Ranch? Are you familiar oh, with yeah, this Oh, yeah, you thing? talked about that on the podcast one day. Yeah, yeah, dude. So that stuff, that's some real stuff. <laughs> like, there's some real stuff out there. And uh, yeah, they talk about different things, but, you know, it's kind of still like the aliens are real. There's strange happenings, ghosts, and sasquatches. Yeah, we've talked about doing, like, full. Like, we've only ever done one topic episode, and that was on the Fermi Paradox. Uh, we did the Christmas oddity. Oh, that's right. And we did do the dolphin lover story. That was a full episode, too. Yeah, yeah. But, but like, I wouldn't mind. Like, we talked before about doing, like, episodes on, like, the Rockefellers, the Illuminati. No, like, Jeho- we can even do, like, on Jehovah's Witness, on Scientology. Oh, we can do, like. But, but see, here, here, here's where, where we struggle. We are lazy. <laughs> and doing that much research for to be able to yeah, like do the lot, amount of research dude. I had to do on the F and Fermi paradox yeah, and the great in the great filter to understand it to speak on it took a lot of time, dude. Yeah, you know what's a lot easier? Man gets drunk and shoots his neighbor because he thinks he's a dog. That's easy, dude. Let's talk <laughs> about that and make jokes, dude. Like easy. <laughs> I don't want to call work. myself out for being a lazy poss, but dude, I'm a lazy poss sometimes. Hey, yo, it's work. It's work smarter, not harder. Exactly, dude. I can make jokes about a dude shooting his neighbor because he thinks he's a dog, or I can make a joke about like the aliens that don't exist or do exist or might exist. <laughs> so. Those yeah, topic episodes take a lot of work, dude. Yeah, especially when you want to like report on things accurately. Right, That's the like, most I, important like we thing. all we we know that our whole mantra is truth, not facts. But like, there has to be some truth to it. You know what I mean? We're not just making ish up, dude. We, most of everything we talk about is a real story. Yeah, and and it has to be backed up with. At least some degree of, like, this actually happened. Like, I guarantee you, if you're listening to this right now, anything we've talked about on any of our podcasts, if you Google it, it will come up. We have not made anything up. Is it the whole story? <laughs> Is it accurately portrayed? I would, I, 
I feel trying. confident to say we are like a solid 75, 80% accurate. <laughs> that's not, that's not. We don't make ish up, but we, no, but we, we also we are shows. fair and we'll say, I don't know, I didn't look that up. We don't fill in the gaps, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's true, but we do not give all the valid oh we don't deep dive for sure no, dude. No, oh my we're God. not giving all the valid i literally have i send myself a link and then on a note card write three or four little bullet points that's like my like journalism right. dude. It, no journalistic integrity whatsoever no, dude, i'm like okay cool sometimes i'm curious and i will look up a second or third story to get more information because i'm oh, like this yeah. seems too good to be true <laughs> really Truth, definitely not facts are you just why is he wading in the water? Like, his crotch it's warm? freezing He's trying to get his here. balls dipped in, dude. All right, so where is my brother at? Let me just look for my brother real quick. He is. He's, he's there. To, I'm going to turn on the oven. I'll be right back. do that. I'm going to find big bro here. He is 82 meters in this direction. So I guess this is like the town we, we took it over because I'm getting like paid up in here too. Oh money. yeah, dude. All all these all right. these friends are ride or die with you, dude. <laughs> all these friends are ride or die with you, dude. I like right? that. I like that. I've never heard it put so eloquently. I uh I am known for my eloquence. Your eloquence and your streetwise hustle nature. Yeah, get yes. that wood. Get that wood. Streetwise hustlers. Oh, he's in the freaking bungalow. Big hustlers. Yeah, them too. My dude's chilling in the uh, the the second story of this fine shack tower. All right, what do hey, we got to discuss? You missed the opening act. Could we? You turned it off, bro. I, I did though. So. What's wrong now? Now it's flashing. This is not me. This is not me. Why'd you time. break your stuff, friend? You know, these new batteries that I got are great. Oh, I bet, dude. They're and they're not game. like... like a spring thaw at it's like approach. when you got a new phone this and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, is this, this is where we launch our attack from? We do indeed. Oh. And we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kyotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. You will not stand for this. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtwis should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. All right, yes, let's end Kyotve. No, I need more time. You know what, man? Let's get rid of Kyotve. Skull's sharp scissors cut short the court of Kyotve's fate. Yeah, what well she said. said. My sharp-tongued warrior skull. May we all live to hear that saga song. A saga sound, saga, saga, saga sound. He's playing chess. Eivor, a word. Oh, a I'm gonna become a freaking assassin, Jonas. It's not yours, yet you fight it all the Don't same. Don't do that. I find that strange. I love it. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagar to kill Kjadvi yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjadvi's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. <sighs> Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Katve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Katve dies this day. On that, wow. we back off. Agreed. I like that. He doesn't care. <laughs> Do you remember the Doritos, Jonas? 
Remember we infiltrated the order and they had oh, like yeah, the Doritos? Oh yeah, they was in all the Doritos for us, bro. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're gonna bring back the Doritos. What if they're Pringles this time? I freaking hope so, dude. They better be. Uh, what are those bugles? <laughs> <laughs> We're wow. gonna wear them on our fingers while we'll like wow. bugle, bugle claws, dude. You, everybody did the bugle claws. They're like, <laughs> my pretty. Like we all did the witch fingers, dude. Bugles. I'm gonna tell you right now, bugles, trash. <laughs> oh, they're Guilt, dude, I almost Guilt, said the F word because I'm so fast, man. I hate bugles other than they turn me into a witch. <laughs> there, he there he is. It's Chris Jericho. Now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Seeger is only here to watch me feed your rennets to my raven. Look at this. <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. If the wolf kissed. This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. Oh, snap. Here we go. Here, against the Oathbreaker. I will make you beg as your father begged wolf kiss. Oh, he's not going to use the axes? Your oh, this is the man who killed our pops? Wait, he put the axes down, though. What are you going to do? You're going to... I don't know. Is he going to flop on him, he's dude? He's going to punch me? My life. I will take yours. Did one hit <laughs> kill him? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is not your day to die. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any rations either. He hit you one Why time. Why do you refuse to die? We are not alone, Chatve. The old father watches. All right, come at me. Come at me, bro. Oh, now, now he's, he's, he's gonna like, you know you. what? I couldn't kill you with my fist. Now I'll kill you with my suit. He's a big boy, too. Do you see this man? He's not small. I tried to block. I tried to guard it, dude. Oh wait, maybe you your SAB. Yeah, maybe uh, there you go. You did it. No, get out of there. Where's your deep assassin? What is that attached to? What are you talking about? Didn't you unlock that special ability? Yeah, but that doesn't help me in like a hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is like assassination yeah. stuff. And I will have your heart. Nope, none of that. He'll have your heart, dude. I'm gonna have these arrows to the freaking nugget. For each of you ravens. Oh, he can block them. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Gotta get out of there for that one, though. I keep forgetting that if you hold X in, you can do a different roll, do a barrel roll. Oh, he's got armor too. Yeah, dude, he's he's stacked. is not small he is not a small man dude like you know he's he's a fighter oh my god stop all right stop chill bro <laughs> chill dog do it chill hey hey don't tase me don't tase me bro i'll just take this ration thank you there's this rations chilling on the sidelines i okay, like you it. want some you want granola bar friend you got cliff <laughs> right <laughs> I bought Cliff Bars, you know? <laughs> They're good, dude. I like Cliff Bars. They Some are. of them. Right. I got like white chocolate macadamia. Oh, that I'm one's not, not very good. Either. What, Jonas? I like the chocolate brownie one, the chocolate chip one, and the peanut butter chocolate chip one. I can't believe you don't like the... Peanut butter chocolate chip's my favorite. Oh, you just... Oh, my God. You just... Yeah. You grabbed him by the neck and then hatcheted his rib cage. Yeah, that's how we do. Which seems like it would kill anyone. No, he's fine. He's good, dude. He is very big. He's a big boy. Not very good with the axe. No, not very good. Our father. Whoa, what enemy. the hell? Dude, what is this crap? <laughs> he just threw you off a ravine. I was going to talk about our father being a pee, but like, I guess. <laughs> Who is this boy? Oh, it's. It's. She. Oh, it's uh, hype! It's Seth Rollins, dude. He was gonna do it, dude. Jericho took Seth Rollins out, bro. He was gonna do it. I'll take all of that, all of it. Thank you. Shameful trick, move kiss. You are your father's child. You are your father's child, he says. All right, 
Come on. So Seth Rollins is dead? No, he is. He's not, I don't think he's dead. I think he just knocked them off. You know, he just got knocked off. Yeah, he's over there. He's moving. That's the guy who he wanted to like impress you. He was trying to get him to lead. No, he, he was. was like, he wasn't trying to impress me. He was trying to take the kill for himself because he he's, he's an assassin, and that's what assassins do. Ooh, stabbed him in the heart with it. Ooh, daddy revenge. <clears throat> this is not your day to die, Wolfkeist. Rise, Eivor. Oh. This is, is this where it happens? Odin. Odin? Odin? What do you want of me? Odin. No one will price of kissed on the glory of my death. <laughs> <laughs> We got revenge really early in this game. Don't you dare pull that tree out of the. Harvest of three dead generations. All the names are known. I want a skull tree. It all means nothing. No, my clan will not be forgotten. Oh, oh my God! Just planted him in a tree. Yo, this is this is a graphic game. It's carcaloid. As hard as I did to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Only darkness. <laughs> what the frick, dude? <laughs> what the hell is this game? Yeah. This, is this Assassin's Creed or Saw Six? I'm he gives him a hockey puck. I'm so confused. Yeah, dude, I don't know either. That was violent. I did it! Yay! You did it! Your lives are forfeit! Come forward if you must! Into the crucible of your doom! Your father is dead, Gorm! His debt's repaid! Open the gates and you will be spared! <laughs> Follow it, shit, wolf kissed! Archers, take aim! Oh, they're gonna shoot arrows at him? Yeah, but now we gotta now we gotta get in there and fight him up. Alright, and we will do that on the next episode. Alright, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Uh, he does Twitch. Uh, TNT Dynamite at uh, twitch.tv backslash forward slash. There's a slash in there somewhere. Uh, at twitch oh my god, look at your face. I know, right? TNT Dynamite at underscore crazy town on twitch.tv for Jonas uh, we'll catch you on the next one we Ora Ota